The more time I spend here, the more I love it here. And let me tell you why. This is a tremendously distinctive community. Those of you who grew up here, who has lived here for more than a couple of years, you know how special Link it is. And one of the things that makes Lincoln so special is the community spirit that exists here. You can't engineer that. You can't design that into a new community. We can do buildings. We can do open space. But we can't create this chemistry, this energy, this vitality that the city of Lincoln has. I met Vicki when I was, I'm on the uh, Lincoln Public Safety Foundation. So she said, you know, I'm with the Women's Club. I'm the president of the Women's Club. And she said, we'd like to do a building. Chelsea and I came out, we hung out with, with Vicki and a couple of the other uh, women from the Women's Club. And we just had a great conversation about what they would like to see, what they think. And we do what we do most of the time is not about our dream, it's about your dream. And what we do is people ask me what I do. I tell them I'm in the faith business. Faith is believing things not yet seen. And what we do, you have to have a lot of faith in us because you haven't seen it before. So that's where the faith comes in. So when we did this building, the biggest challenge was not to screw it up to preserve and respect what's been here for over a hundred years. And this building is iconic within the community. And so what we tried to do was to pay homage to what was here without copying it exactly. What we, what we have come up with is, is a building that um, we'd like to call it the sister building of this one. It will seat quite a few people more than this. It's going to be a little bit bigger than this building. It's going to have a commercial kitchen. It's going to have storage above the, uh, above the uh, commercial kitchen. So that'll allow us to do events. Why is that important? It's important because between this building, the next step up within the city is um, it being a pavilion. And sometimes that's just too big. And it might not be right for your daughter or your granddaughter's wedding. But the building next door along with this will be. And so what's the alternative? People have to go to those so go back in. And what we want to do is we want to keep people in the city. That's the significance this building has. So making sure that, that we respected what was here, but trying to create some, um, some new elements with a little bit more light. This is the, the corner that would be right there. This is the entrance from the north. This is the large tree that's in the courtyard, which at this point we are required to keep. We're going to have an arborist take a look at that. I, I met with the city manager the other day, and he said there that if it doesn't have a useful life of X amount of years, there might be an opportunity for that tree to go away, which would make it a lot easier for us to do what we want to do. Not that we don't love trees, but there's a time and a place for them, and they have a life cycle just like the rest of us. Then this is the, the main promenade and entry, and this will be off the street. And this is the accessible component. So this is um, ADA compliant. And as you stroll up to the building, with this little wall on your side, you'll hear water kind of trickle on the other side. So you get to experience the space before you're even in the space. Within the building itself, uh, we've opened up the, uh, the ceiling a little bit and, and it'll be similar to this, only it'll be bright enough. So it'll feel a little bit more open. We're uh, believing that would be more elegant and a little bit different level of sophistication that is inherent to the charm of this building here. So the primary goal tonight is to get the seed money, is to get things going, but mostly to get the word to tell people this is important to the fabric of the community and this is what knits us together and makes us Lincolnites. Does that sound good? Thank you.